Good morning traders. Welcome to today's market review. Today is May 12, 2014. Welcome to CM Trading and this is Fred Razak. Um, so we've got a little bit of a quiet beginning of the week. There's not much news coming out today. Uh, but let's just review what happened last week uh, and some things that happened overnight. We'll start with the Euro USD. Um, if you remember last week we had major numbers on Thursday. Draghi was peaking. Yellen was speaking and then we just we hit this threshold at about 39,500 and we tanked all right we hit about 3840 uh, stood here for a little while and then the further tank okay it would have been nice to have held more into this position uh, I actually got around out around here got jittered out a little bit uh, but as you can see this is one of the examples of why you want to He's in and he's out of a position. Uh, could have taken this extra ride from 38.40 to 37.600, which is almost 100 pips. Okay, this is about 80 pips. This just this move. So together between these two moves combined, we're talking about almost a 200 pip move. Okay, so uh, major retracement for the Euro USD. Let's look at the longer chart. See how far it could go down. Well, it could probably top out at about. Uh, 37.40, okay, but it's topping out at around 37.50. It's uh, uh, consolidating right here. Um, but I would expect some continued uh, momentum in it. Okay, there's some stuff coming out on the euro this week, uh, so definitely keep it on the radar. It's one of the biggest movers of the month, especially from this big retracement. Of course, our best, our star winner, our favorite, currency pair, the GBP Japanese Yen. Again, big re big spike up this week. You couldn't see it on that previous cap because it was a longer time frame. But a nice move up, 177 pips since the beginning of the month. So we're looking at a pretty good uh, pretty good uh, momentum on the Euro US uh, on the GBP Japanese Yen. And let's see if it can continue this upward spike. Um, we're at these top thresholds. We've challenged this 172.939 a few times. We're now trading at the bottom of the range. Okay, there's a little bit of a range trade at this uh, at this location, as you can see. But the highs are getting higher. Okay, the lower highs are getting higher, and the, and, and it's consolidating a little bit tighter, uh, which may, in effect, uh, give it a little bit of a uh, momentum on the upside uh, you know we made this higher high okay we filled this in uh, let's see if we can continue and break out this 173 area um, it is generally it's a very strong uh, currency pair it has been very strong as we've seen you know making a really nice uh, rally every time it retraced it's rally so uh, percentage plays also on the upside uh, so look for multiple opportunities to enter this uh, and to buy it on the long. Um, on the GBP USD side, if we just jump into it, uh, it retraced a little bit, okay, uh, last week with the US coming out with news. But overall, okay, it's still up from the beginning of the month also. So if we look at the beginning of the month, uh, we're talking about 164. Um, well, we're talking about, excuse me, we're talking about another 120 pips on the upside. But it, as you can see, it has a continuous, continuous, making continuous highs, continuous highs, not really giving up much. Uh, broke it in here, okay, uh, could be a room to consolidate. And remember, on the longer chart, we're actually on a major threshold. So, Keep that in mind, okay? As we've discussed before, we're on a major, major threshold at 170. Uh, we kind of hit it last week, just barely. And as you can see, it's retracing a little bit. Uh, if we do retrace on the downside, uh, I believe we could go all the way down as 167.48. Uh, but again, like I said, it's a momentum play, and it's really rallied so strong since the beginning of the year. I don't see, until it gives me a confirmation that it's weak, I don't see a reason why it shouldn't continue. Uh, so like I said again, 
keep an eye on it. Uh, just briefly tomorrow we have a German number, a USD number, and then many German numbers on Thursday. So the euro should be uh, in the spotlight later on in the week. Gold not moving much. Okay, consolidating out at these areas. Let's see what unfolds in Ukraine to see if there's any bounce. Uh, but so far we haven't seen any bounce. Nothing has really been consistent in the gold. Uh, and the Dow Jones last week just, you know, popped up about 50 points. Uh, again, not a big move, but you see that every time they take it down, they bring it right back up. Uh, so we still have this uh, upper range right here that we've discussed a few times where it hasn't wanted to break up on the upside. Uh, we briefly broke it up here, but nothing consistent. I would have liked it to show some sort of consistency, some sort of um, some sort of momentum to keep the upper range to see if we're going to break out higher. Uh, as you can well expect, there are a tremendous amount of forces uh, holding this from going higher. Uh, and as we get into the summer months, uh, let's see if we do break it up or we're going to continue there. Uh, just briefly on the USD czar, okay, the RAND has gotten weak, uh, has gotten stronger. Excuse me. Okay, I got to remember which side I'm on. Uh, we've, you know, come down from almost 11 down to 1034 which is a major retracement for the dollar versus the rand. I'm not sure if it's the rand that's getting so much stronger or the dollar getting so much weaker, but as you can see in a longer time frame, okay, we've made this peak at 1130 and now we're retraced to 1134. Um, now it, I, you know, it's a, it's, a hard, it's a hard trade because it hasn't been really in a momentum. Um, you know, it's been very choppy trading, uh, but it has over time, as you can see, been retracing and gotten stronger. Um, let's see if we can maintain this 1030 level. Okay, if we do break 1030, okay, I would expect it to hit even 10. Okay, to get to that next threshold. Uh, 1020 to 1030 is a somewhat of a uh, support, um, but you know, if it's if it's continuously going down, then there's no reason it shouldn't dip to 10 uh, at one point or another. This is Fred Rezac at CM Trade. I want to thank everyone for joining us today. See you next time.